Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing me here today. We break every chain, every idle word, everything spoken around them. 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, old things have passed away and new things are here. Father, we thank you for this new covenant that is about to take place. There's a thing um, when we first came to Australia that um, that uh, Sam was um, at school. So um, they, they're, they're high school sweethearts, but um, originally they were um, in primary together. And I've, I've got a photo at home that shows them two standing together, but I don't think they knew each other. Like they were in class together, they knew each other's names, but they, you know, it's, it's so it's so so funny how how everything revolves around um, um, what's happened. Like God's got a plan for them and. Going through the ups and downs of uh, life itself with her has been a uh, experience alone. Um, from uh, crowns to perfume, uh, everything's gone so fast with her growing up, I couldn't even keep up with her and her friends. that you say this with all your heart. Romans 10, 16, I believe with my heart, therefore I confess with my mouth. Sam, it's something I'm not gonna forget. It has uh, absolutely hit my heart all on. And um, I love you for it. And welcome to the family. I said, take the one it all to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part according to God's will. And therefore I pledge myself to you. And I'd just like to welcome Juanita to our family, the big family, so, and her family, so, you know, that's what we want to see. Uh, everybody be happy, have fun. Now, Juanita, take this and to be my wedded husband having to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death to us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and therefore I pledge myself to you. To you. 
Come on, family, you can do better than that. I thank you right now that this covenant is complete in you, Jesus. The two have become one. We thank you for your presence. I thank you, Lord God, for the leadership upon their life. I thank you for your calling and your purpose shall unfold. Father, I thank you that you will reveal your purpose. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are the workmanship of God, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance that we would walk in them. I thank you for your divine purpose. Father, we thank you for this marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.